Ja, guten Abend, Z-Freunde, <lacht> Z-Freunde. Abend, Abend. Wir sind hier in Decentraland. Heute mal hier im, ja, sag mal, College-Viertel. Sitzen Sie jetzt besser? Viel besser. Gut, viel besser. Ähm, wir haben etwas sehr Merkwürdiges aufzuklären. Etwas sehr Merkwürdiges. Kinobereich, Decentraland. Und äh, schauen wir uns mal ein paar Clips hier an. Hi, my name is Carl Frevel, and I'm happy to be giving a talk here at the launch of the Crypto College in the Decentraland University. Um, uh, I am a technologist uh, of over, with over 40 years of experience in software and hardware, and uh, I'm an evangelist for virtual experience. With regard to virtual worlds, I'm an author, an educator, an organizer, and a builder. And uh, I'm the district leader of several Decentraland districts, including the university, the conference center, um, Etheria, and the virtual reality shopping district. And I am honored to have been asked to be the chancellor of Decentraland University. Material vollzählig angetreten? Alles da, Chef. Gut, ich bin auch soweit. Fangen wir an. Und zur Inspiration wie immer, Musik. so the first question to explore today is what crypto brings to virtual worlds. Um, it brings an international monetary system that's unconstrained by national borders. If you were creating a na uh, non-national experience, like Decentraland, you wouldn't want to use a nationally specific currency. Um, you'd pick a cryptocurrency. Um, this also means that ownership um, is not dependent on companies or national systems. Um, if you had a land deed in a virtual world, would you go down to your county recording office to get it recorded? No, you'd record it on the blockchain. Um, it also means you have permanence uh, in the uh, world even if the founding organization of the, that created the virtual world wraps up. Uh, therefore, your investment in land and in the improvements you've made to it and your engagement with the community in that world um, won't just disappear. Um, <laughs> DCL, ready player one in real life. We coming strong, the blockchain revolution got those bankers sensing something wrong. Schemas on the volumes, they sending goons of cunning pawns. Diamond nuts be chillies, we ain't tripping, ain't got nothing gone. Wall is full of entities, we ain't a bone, no enemies. They popping virtual hand and seen our bottoms up. Treasuries, metaverses taking over galleries. The clarities ain't no controversies. To them BTCs, the heresies. Man, a token army, we like ninjas never see us coming. Me moon to Mars, back to Earth, then we turn to Venus, jumping. Ain't no waiting around for anyone to come and free us. DAO, big variety. So, what does what do virtual worlds bring to crypto? Well, I say first and foremost, they bring real use cases. Um, you have an in world community, you have land, you have economics, you have assets, and um, in uh, 
tokenizing digital assets compared to physical assets. So imagine trying to tokenize a commodity like sugar or oil. collectible like a Picasso painting um, people are working on that but it's it's it doesn't it's not really easy um, whereas if you, it, with a digital asset you can design it to be easy to integrate with the NFT that represents it um, and then also a virtual world bring the ability to visualize your NFT uh, you can put your clothing on your body you can put your house on your land you can put a painting on the wall you can put your crypto pet in the yard uh, you can get a ride in your crypto Lambo. Ja, Freunde, das war ja, der Erschaffer, der Creator. Ja, und der hat hier ganz schön beschrieben, was das Centraland ist. Und ähm, ja, ich bin absoluter Fan und ja, das ist die Zukunft. Schaut mal gerne rein. Würde mich sehr freuen. Danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal, wenn es was Neues aus dem Centraland gibt. Okay, danke fürs Zusehen. Ciao.